have Jason Lewis with us uh, here. He's uh, up for re-election for state senate, and I think he has a few things he wants to say. Well, thank you, and uh, great to be with you both, and uh, say hi, hi to everyone uh, at home and uh, here at the Fall Street Fair today. It, uh, we're very fortunate the weather seems to have cooperated, <laughs> uh, and uh, we were, avoided any uh, thunderstorms. But I, I did want to mention um, how um, impressed I was um, by the um, the town having a 9/11 um, parade and and um, commemoration yeah, it's, today. It's, you know, it was. Um, it's hard to believe it, it's been 15 years. 15 years, years you know, already, but, uh, and yeah. you know, there's some uh, ceremonies that are happening. You know, in Boston, but I don't think there's very many other uh, communities that yeah. took the initiative. You know, to have a, a commemoration, and it's so important. It's been 15 years, but. The memory is still so um, is still so vivid. Yeah, we were know? talking earlier about how I'm sure all of us remember where we were uh, when uh, when we heard the news about the towers and uh, so forth. Absolutely. Yeah. But um, it was also uh, was in, uh, when I was preparing for the commemoration and what I wanted to say, um, I realized that this year's freshman class at Reading High School in all of our high schools. We're not. We're born oh, after yeah. nine eleven. <laughs> Isn't that so, amazing? You know, you already have uh, a generation now who's going to learn about it in uh, by reading. You know, in the history books and reading. It certainly won't uh, be as real as it, it was for yeah, uh, anybody for, that can remember that's it. That's right. Yeah. So I think it's it's so important that they continue to hear directly. You know, from um, families who lost right. loved ones, from first responders who were there, and 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 all of us. You know, what happened that day. Right. And, and, uh, terrible tragedy and then how we came together I think as a nation you know in a way that you know we uh, we sometimes forget today when uh, yeah you know, sometimes things are uh, rather yeah, there was a piece rancorous. in the globe about that today mm -hmm. about how people were so friendly and nice and helpful back when it first happened no, and I, not so much anymore you know I so. know, I know. Yeah. right well you know we go back to our, our <laughs> corners so to speak yeah. but I think and this is what I said in my remarks earlier you know the things that unite us as as Americans are, I think, so much stronger and more profound than any differences we have. Yeah, um, that's true. So it's just we have to remind ourselves, you know, of that because sometimes I think we get we, we lose sight of that. And 9/11 certainly reminded us of that. Yeah. So you're up for re-election. Uh, I think I saw your name on a ballot somewhere recently. There weren't very many people that were actually in the uh, voting place when I was there. I think I may have been like one of two. <laughs> well, thank you for voting. <laughs> that was, I think that you're referring to the uh, primary election. Yes, the primary. Which uh, we, we just had uh, yeah, yes, uh, yeah, last week. Right. Yeah, so uh, uh, the general election is coming up in November. Right. Uh, and I, I hope more people will come out and vote uh, in November. It's, uh, oh, I'm we, sure that we just be. talked about 9-11, <laughs> and that's one of the things that yep. is we, sh we, un uh, we uh, unites us as, as our right. democracy, and, and, and I think it's one of our very important responsibilities to vote. So I, 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 I hope and expect more You're, you're also providing November. some leadership in the state on the opiate, opiate crisis and marijuana legislation. Yes. And um, one of, um, uh, I chair the um, Public Health Committee for the State Senate, so one of our main priorities has has been trying to improve prevention and treatment and uh, recovery for individuals and families that are, are struggling with this terrible epidemic, you know, the okay. opioid and heroin epidemic. And we're, we're okay. the good news is we are making some progress there. I think we're working very hard okay. on it. Okay, good. Um, anything else you want to talk about, Jason? Um, we do have, you mentioned uh, marijuana as oh, well. Oh, yeah, okay. And uh, one of the other uh, responsibilities I have is I chair a special Senate committee on marijuana because we've been anticipating that there might be a ballot question in November. So in addition to voting for president and uh, for legislative offices, we're also going to be voting on four different ballot questions. And I okay. encourage uh, folks to take the time to educate themselves. But question four is about legalizing uh, recreational marijuana and allowing right. the marijuana industry to set up shop in Massachusetts. And uh, um, and I have deep concerns about there that. There seems uh, to be some controversy mm -hmm. in uh, Colorado now about uh, what they did to themselves mm -hmm. and how it might be impacting uh, their social structure there. Mm -hmm. you know? Yes, they were uh, the first state to legalize it 
marijuana for recreational use. So we're not talking about right. medical right. here because we already have a medical yep. program. Right. And they are seeing a lot of uh, challenges with that. They're seeing a very thriving black market that's continued. They've seen challenges with edibles like marijuana candy and chocolates yep. and sodas mm -hmm. that you know people don't always know have marijuana in them that very appealing to kids, for example, and people driving while they're high. And, um, and we don't have uh, a way to test for that like a breathalyzer for alcohol. So there's some very significant challenges. And uh, I think that's why um, you know my view is that we'd be better off waiting and learn from other states and uh, go a little slower. And I, I, I hope question four, you know, is not successful in November. Yeah. Uh, so, did we send a delegation to Colorado? Yes, I actually did? led that. Yeah, you uh, did. Oh, yes, okay. that's right. So in, in my role leading the special okay. committee, um, we, w uh, a group of senators, um, both Democrats and Republicans, and from all over the state, there was nine of us in total, went out and spent about a week in I Colorado. So, yeah. Yeah. And was very um, helpful, you know, because we saw firsthand what the industry is doing there and there's you know there's more pot shops in colorado now than there's mcdonald's and starbucks combined <laughs> so they're everywhere we talked to state government officials we talked to people in denver we talked to law enforcement and we you know did really you got get a the sense that it's it. a problem or uh, in colorado or you know they're struggling hard to make it work oh, um, okay. i mean and i give them a lot of credit for for the law enforcement and the yeah. and, uh, municipal government officials for for trying very hard but it's very challenging you know the industry is already a, a, a five billion dollar uh, in marijuana industry and you know they, they their goal is to sell more uh, pot and uh, yeah. their uh, and and make money um, so they are introducing uh, all kinds of new edible products and uh, the potency is is very very high it's, it's it's very different than it was in the 1960s or 70s or 80s it's a much stronger drug um, and we um, and I don't think we're completely we're ready for it you know yep. in terms of uh, um, how to regulate it, how to deal with driving, um, you know, just having even the basic data to help us understand, you know, what's happening in our communities. So okay. and my main takeaway was um, let's go slow, you know, let's learn from their experience, let's learn from Washington State, which is another state, and we let's f focus on getting our medical marijuana program, uh, you know, working properly. So you're <laughs> not really saying that you'd never legalize it, you were just saying this question on this ballot is not the right. Exactly what I'm saying. That's right. I'm not okay. personally yep. philosophically opposed to, right. to to the legalization. I know understand. You know there are adults who use marijuana. That's not going away. But this particular ballot question that you know we'll be voting on is 24 pages long, and I think it's the the wrong approach at the at the wrong time. You know yep. we should go slow. We shouldn't be allowing all of these edible products like candies and, and cookies and sodas that are you know a, at, a risk for our kids we shouldn't be allowing people to grow thousands of dollars of marijuana at home you know even against do you the feel the neighbors and that's all in this ballot do question. you feel what's happened in colorado has freed up uh, law enforcement somewhat to focus on other things because they're not as focused on unfortunately marijuana? although that's the perception that's not actually the case because since marijuana is already decriminalized in Colorado and here in Massachusetts, our police law enforcement doesn't really spend much okay. time at all. Yeah. You right. know, they, 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 we in Ma in Massachusetts, it, you know, if you possess uh, up to an ounce of marijuana, it's just a civil violation. Okay. It's like a speeding yeah. ticket. Yeah. So police officers don't bother with that, I see. and okay. they focus on large-scale trafficking um, of uh, things like heroin and cocaine. And so what's happening in Colorado now, because they allow people to grow it at home, like we're like this ballot question would. You have a lot of people using that cover to grow um, illegally at home uh, and uh, and supply the black market because it's so profitable. So that's actually causing some new problems for for law enforcement. Okay. And uh, and people also now setting up shop in Colorado. Sometimes even uh, gangs and cartels from other places, and then smuggling across state lines, you know, into other states. So that would be a problem in, in Massachusetts yeah. as well, I think. Okay. Well, we thank you for uh, stopping by today yeah, and, and sharing your views. Um, I understand you have to head on to Melrose for their, uh, what was it, a Victorian uh, that's fair? Right. It's the, the, uh, their Victorian fair. Happens You've got to six towns that day, you yes. cover, so your loyalties <laughs> are spread a little bit. They're like, all like my children. <laughs> yep. I can't play favorites. I right. think uh, we have the actually the 9-11 the ceremony uh, ready to go, so oh, okay. I think we'll uh, yeah. have 
have Phil take that and uh, show it for us now. Yeah, very I really good. appreciated your remarks this morning, oh, too, at well, the ceremony. Uh, thank you very much. That. It was an it was honor to be nice. part of the, the ceremony. Yeah, I thought it was mm. very well done. It was very well done, indeed.